Hello learners, this is Habiba with UGC Net Paper 2 Education Unit 3 Learner and Learning Process. And this approaches to intelligence from unitary to multiple. Already few topics we have discussed. Now under this subtopic we are going to take a small topic that is social intelligence. Let's understand what is social intelligence introduction. When a person knows what makes other people think, he or she is displaying social intelligence. That means when a person already thinks that if I talk to these people, what they will think about me. Thinking about their feelings, knowing about their feelings. And they are aware of the motives and feelings of themselves and others also. And how to fit into different social situations. That means the person who is aware of his thinking or her thinking and also the motives of other people also to fit to the different situations in different social situations that is very very important if a person is not socially intelligent he or she may not be able to mingle in the society they can feel comfortable and say the right thing whether they are in the office or formal meeting in a school setting or informal gathering wherever they will go they will feel comfortable and they will also say the right thing which cannot hurt the people. So, they will be able to socialize themselves if they are socially intelligent persons. So, uh, social intelligence involves two general components. Let's see what are those two. First one is social awareness. That means what we sense about others. Second one, social facility. That means what we do with our awareness. Obviously, so when we have awareness of our senses that what we are going to do, obviously we will be able to socially facilitate ourselves with that awareness. Now, let us understand a simple meaning of social intelligence here. Social intelligence is the capacity to know oneself and to know others. Social intelligence develops from experience with people and learning from success and failures in social settings. So, the capacity, social intelligence is the capacity to know about ourselves and also to knowing about others also. And how we can develop this social intelligence with the experience through meeting with the people or learning or maybe we have success or failure in any social settings through that also we, we can improve our or learn how to have our social intelligence it is more commonly referred to as tact common sense or street smarts tact means how if we behave in this manner that will create some uh, maybe facilitating others to think correctly that means tactfulness behaving in a smart way that is street street smarts also we can say so suddenly if anything happens in front of us if we have smartness to react to that in a positive way that that is social intelligence and also having common sense obviously everybody has to have this common sense otherwise they will become laughter in front of others so, this is the simple meaning of social intelligence. Let us see the technical one that is definition. The original definition by Edward Thorndike in 1920 is the ability to understand and manage men and women and boys and girls to act wisely in human relations. A very nice definition here is given by Thorndike that is how we uh, the ability to understand other people, understand ourselves, mingling with other people and involving in the society to act wisely with the human relations. If we are not acting wisely with human relations, chaos, there will be chaos everywhere. So, it is thus equivalent to interpersonal intelligence, 
identified one of the types of intelligence in Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences and closely related to theory of mind. So, what is interpersonal relation intelligence? That is with others having the intelligence also with others knowing about the feelings of others thinking about the feelings of others interpersonal intra means only in ourselves this is interpersonal means between somebody else uh, us and somebody else so identify this can be identified through howard gardner's multiple theory of intelligence we will discuss in the next class in detail about howard gardner's intelligence multiple intelligence theory so they say that this is closely social intelligence is closely related to his theories and also theory of mind now what abilities does social intelligence convey Social intelligence manages the required abilities for effective communication based on empathy, self-knowledge, listening and reading of emotions. That means social intelligence how uh, it manages whatever required abilities for effective communication, having communication with others, talking to other people. On what basis? basis on the basis of empathy. Empathy means thinking about others feelings uh, putting ourselves into other shoes self knowledge having knowledge about ourselves and also listening other people reading of emotions that means reading emotions of other people knowing the feelings of other people so if i say this thing how they will react so that i can speak very politely gently so that the people will not get hurt so these abilities are let's see what are these abilities number one verbal and non-verbal fluency that is conversational skills are the most basic form of social intelligence obviously when we converse with our others when we talk with others that is the most important thing how we talk to other people that is verbal and non-verbal expressions are the primary platforms for sending any message sometimes we speak sometimes with our facial expressions or with the hand movements itself non-verbally we convey our messages to others. So the use of the right words, the ideal tone and clear intention underlies the first step to effective communication. How nicely we are speaking. If we speak politely the people tend to listen to us. If we speak very rashly, no I don't want to talk to you. So how we can say this politely please give me some time i'll talk to you later so the way how we are communicating that is very very important the right words and ideal tone politely we have to speak then this that is that comes under that conversational skill comes under social intelligence now the second one knowledge of social rules and roles so when you interact with a group Knowing their social rules, customs and idiosynchronizes is a fundamental skill for socially intelligent people. So, when we interact with other people, any other group, our customs and rules are different and other people's are different. If we know those customs, then it will become easy to sing, talking synchronizingly and uh, using those fundamental skills that is socially intelligent people's nature they will tactfully deal things in the society this facilitates interaction with individuals who belong to different social groups like people of different ages countries religion or cultural identities so people when the people go to other countries also how they can manage to survive there because they have social intelligence to mingle with them how to interact with them how to behave with them they have that capacity and ability that means that social intelligence that skill that fundamental skill is helping them to survive there very easily so the third one is listening skills 
that is the lacking in this generation right now we don't tend to listen actually that is very very important talking too much is not important listening and having experience is that is very important active listening is instrumental in the development of social intelligence if we listen carefully we will learn so many things so it helps to connect with other people prevents conflict and enables learning through dialogue this contributes significantly to personal growth obviously if we listen then we will have the personal growth very nicely this social intelligence is very very important active listener we should be rather than too much talkative then fourth one understanding how other people's emotion work that is understanding what triggers people's emotions either negatively or positively is a key component in the exercise of empathy so what is the main exercise of empathy that means understanding others feelings thinking about others if this situation comes with it happens with me how i i will react so understanding that triggering emotions in ourselves that is that could sometimes it may be negative sometimes it may be positive this competency enables communication that takes into consideration the attributes and sensibilities of other people which makes the message authentic and effective so this communication understanding people's thinking others are uh, thinking about others that is very important this competency have will have the communication very effective and different attributes that is sensibility we will we can have sensible talk with other people so this could become a authentic and effective communication then if we understand the feelings of others then fifth one is playing social roles efficiently this ability allows people to adapt to different social environments having a clear idea of what's expected of us in a variety of different settings reduces stress in any situation and enables more constructive interactions so allowing the ability allows people to adapt different social environments if they have this social intelligence that is having a clear idea what people are expecting from us and variety of diff- in variety of different set, uh, situations reducing the stress we should not get frustrated if people say anything also then only we are showing our social intelligence that is playing our social role effectively then the sixth one self image and impression management this is the ability to present ourselves in a way that connects with others without stretching too far from our natural personality that means if we have this kind of social intelligence what happens here so present ourselves in a way what connects ourselves natural personality the objective is to maintain a sincere demeanor outward behavior or bearing that appeals to others shows empathy and reinforces our idea of self now why is social intelligence necessary for education and future jobs social intelligence uses the management of emotions and self awareness to improve interactions foster leadership and enable the execution of unique intellectual tasks that means social intelligence uses the management of emotions why we should have this social intelligence why is it important in education and also in future jobs because we can improve our interaction we can foster leadership qualities and also it can enable execute our unique intellectual tasks that means related to our studies educational thinking and all then social intelligence is essential for unlocking the skills of effective communication dialogue and team work to create an optimal and productive work environment obviously if we have a social intelligence that is very very important if we have that we can have better communication better dialogue we can work with other people very easily we can mingle with other people really easily that is very important team work when we do anything to create optimal and productive work environment 
Now let's conclude this topic. Social intelligence is the capacity to communicate and form relationships with empathy and assertiveness. Obviously, it comes from knowing yourself and exercising proper emotional management. We can say it is closely linked to emotional intelligence, but it is not exactly the same thing. But um, emotional intelligence and social intelligence are closely related, but not exactly the same thing. Emotional intelligence means uh, uh, having some intelligence or ability to tackle with our emotions. That is happy, sad, interaction, everything. So that's all for today. Thanks for your attention and time. As motivation, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Happy learning.